hoping we're hoping all right so we're gonna do a simple shelf sitter with these Dollar Tree blocks um, just grab some scrapbook paper now I'm debating oh I didn't grab the other one now I just want to grab the other one because I think the other one would be really cute on here too I thought I grabbed it so I got these from the ones here from Hobby Lobby I'll also show you so this one would be actually really cute with these two see this is that cute I think I've showed you that before that would be really cute with these two these are for sure the three that I'm using But I feel, and this would have been the fourth one, which I love. It all goes together. Um, I also love this one as a side. But I, I feel that this one would be really cute on a side too. So I have to decide. I did get the, and the reason why I'm debating, I also had this one here, which would be really, really cute on the side. The reason why I'm really debating, but I can hide a side. So I'm putting a piece on each side. You love the writing ones? I do too. I really do too. Um, I'm putting a piece on each side, and the reason why I'm debating is I am using one of these flowers, and I love, love, love them. Look at how pretty they are. These are also Hobby Lobby. They're, they're gorgeous. So my thought is, is I could put it on a side and would that look cute? Cause I'm going to just put, do a little decorating. The only thing I was thinking is if I could hide one side of the block in the back, which could be this side, because this really doesn't go with that. So the side could be hidden in the back that's not going to be and we could always put something else on the back and then have it turn that way sometimes um, that's why I was debating on this because I thought this may go with parts of this too but not completely so just just you aren't those flowers pretty they are Hobby Lobby um, I think they're the paper studio ones I'd have to look All right, so I, I think I'm going to just do these four. These are all Hobby Lobby papers. These are not. So I do want to show you, though, if you are into um, into nautical or beach right now, let me show you these papers. So this is from our new catalog. Let me just show you these papers. Look at these stamps. Are they not the cutest stamps? at the size of that crab and the seahorse oh this way are they cute so let me just show you these papers would work really really good with them too um they also have these plastic little little seahorses seashells and starfish and stuff these little blue ones that go with this kit but let me just show you these papers so if you're into into this you you know let me know and i can um get you a link for these now this is a sticker paper that comes with it but look at these papers i love these as a beach scene look at that look at like the back of this one this one i would have a hard to, i'd have to do both sides look at you have this one and look at the back it says happiness comes in waves if i don't know if you can see that up close there you go you can see that isn't that cute that is just so cute and let me show you and then there's this one and this one like a sand kind of sand kind of look so if you're into nautical these would be so cute like even in a bathroom or just wherever you set up your nautical and that's that so um, if you're interested in nautical let me know and these are stickers you can always put stickers on honestly what's on these blocks right now are stickers that just don't come off oh that sounds like fun Nancy I don't want to have time for gardening I used to love the garden just don't have time since I had started working with the kids and you know, all of this too I wish I wish 
Yeah, the two-sided is awesome. And honestly, you can pick either side. Some people don't like that, and there's good and bad with that. But they also have a white core, so if you sand them, it you see that white, it almost looks rustic in the middle of it. So I like that too. All right, let's just get going. We're going to, we'll put aside this orange. I think I decided we're going to do this. I'm going to hide the one side. Well, you really can't. Yeah, I'm going to hide one side sort of in the back because I know this won't go with those flowers, but I am so hooked on wanting to do the flowers. I'm so hooked on wanting to do the flowers. So oh, I'm still, still vasculating because I'm trying to think if I have it like this, yeah, if I have it like this, that's okay. And I have the flower on the wand. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, we'll do that. Otherwise I was still vasculating on doing that. Um, the orange maybe okay so i want to, i have to cover up this all right it doesn't peel off like i said it doesn't peel off i tried i tried i tried a heat gun on it this one has a little stuff on it i tried a heat gun on it um i got some peeled off there is like a sort of a plastic on top of it that came off on some but the rest just did not come off we're trying it without so I'm just going to measure what side I need. And I like this because it's square and I don't have to try and cut corners and get it to fit. Like if you get the blocks like these, which again, this is messy. I was just seeing what staining would do on here. Um, and you could, you could paint them and do the same thing, but this is going to be so much easier. All right. So this paper that on here, I'm just measuring the width of this paper. go figure it's between two and a half and two and five eighths so i have to do just a little bit bigger than um two and a half so there's the two and a half there's the two and three eighths let's make sure it's straight on here i do want to make sure it's for sure covered though And two of them I have to do, or one of them I have to do top and bottom. They'll have that. Yeah, isn't it? It is so pretty. It it's so pretty, Nancy. All right, so we've got one square. Let me just lay that on here. And make sure. Yeah, that's gonna cover just so pretty. It's going to be gorgeous. All right, so that's that one. Which one should I do two of? When I do two of them, though, it'll be the top and the bottom. I really think I'm going to do this one on the top and bottom. And we might do a little stamping on this one. This one on the top and bottom. Because I, I, I think I like the idea of putting this flower on there. All right, so we're going to do two of these. Again, these are just, I uh, hope they're all the same size. They're just shy of two and five eighths. Just to three and five eighths. Let's do that again. Two and five eighths, just shy of it. So we're just going a little short on it. There we go. That's better. We have strips to use. All right, and then let's do two of these right away. That one. And again, just short of the two and five A's. Hopefully it is a, a nice square on there. Yeah. Yep, it's going to work. These I think we're going to stamp on just to add a little something. See, you can see a little bit of stamping on there. I'm going to add, a, and, but they're not on here. We're going to add a little bit of stamping on there. I actually, I think I'm going to leave off. That does match. I'm going to leave that part off. I'll use that for something else. Let's just go in and do, do one more. Okay, those two will do. Love, love this one. Just short of 
factor of 2 and 5 eighths. Look at where that's going to end up. Oh, that actually works. That works. That works okay. Whatever, whatever is going to work there. And this one yet. Perfect. It's going to be quick and easy. Hello, Susan. You have a measuring deficit. I just have to keep putting it back on and measuring and knowing like if I did one already, I just keep on putting it down. If I don't write it down, which sometimes I do for you, all but I have to keep writing it. All right. And we're going to do one of these two and five of these. And let me just make sure I have enough cut. Now I'm not even going to um, stain up the edges yet. We're going to do that at the end, which will end up staining this too. That's my plan. We want to make it easy, very easy. Now the other option, which I could always do on the other side, I have these two paper studio. We could always put that on. That would be really cute on this one. You know, so we'll we'll see. But I'm in love with that one. So we could probably put one on each side. You know, possibly we could put one over here and then one on there. All right, now is going to be the telling thing. I took the sticker off the other one, but that one had a little something on. It wouldn't have mattered that much. But again, these are Dollar Tree blocks. They're wood. I'm not thrilled with the colors on them or the pattern, so we need to change it up. Like I said it, you you can't peel all that off. It just it you know it would take a lot to do it. It really would. I tried. I tried. I tried heating and everything. Oh, it sounds like a beautiful day for a walk by you then. All right. Let's do, let's do some Mod Podge. And just putting it on top. Right up to the edges though. I think I could get away with doing two, three sides at a time. And then that'll be the telling thing on whether or not this is going to work. I hope the bottom doesn't peel up because it sure didn't when I was trying. I'm really trying not to get it on that wood part because that's where I'm going to be doing. Um, it's not even staining. It's um, um, I'm using stamp pad on there. You know, some places the mosquitoes are so bad. Ours right here, but. 10 minutes or you know, probably half hour away, not even a half an hour away. They're awful, but here they're not. I don't, last year we didn't have hardly any mosquitoes either. It was crazy because yeah, once they start coming, it, it, they're awful. They're awful to be outside and get eaten up on. You hear my birds? Aren't they cute? I do love that too. I didn't feed them this morning though. They're probably hollering for me. Just want to dry this up good. We're using the iron method again. Um, my favorite. I don't want to have to sand. That's why I cut them to to what it's supposed to be. But I want them really dry before I do these other sides. And I can see 
like I said, it's sort of like a film on top of these. I can sort of see that as I'm heating it on that one. I can sort of see it. But still hoping we're going to be okay. All right, let's do, we're going to flip this and do... That's all right. That's yeah. We're gonna flip it. I think I think we're doing pretty good with it. It's a little sticky. Let's do here. Little sticky. All right. I'm just looking what I did. I do these three. What's that called? Mosquitoes, the state bird. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't even imagine how big your mosquitoes are. Then <laughs> that's too funny too funny i said we just i don't know what it is the last last year and so far this year but that doesn't mean it's not going to change for us this year because it definitely and then also like maybe 20 minutes away from here actually out by um where my brother lives which was my mom's and our growing where we grew up and my son lives out there too they have gnats they're these little black annoying bugs that are just in swarms and they just Stay around you. They're they're so annoying. You're going like this, or you, I mean, you're breathing them in. You're you know, getting them in your mouth. You're getting them everywhere. So they're awful. But it's weird that they're just they're so bad there and not here. It just depends. Like over that way, and I don't know why. It's it's worse for the gnats. All right, so I did six sides now. That means I've got another side left to do. We'll figure out what one that is. So I don't want to lay it down here yet. We are doing the iron method. You have those menacing nets too, do you? They are, they're awful. I mean, you try and play, like, they'll have, um, you know, like there's a golf course over there that it, they're awful on. I volunteered for a, a fundraiser out there for um, a fundraiser. It was for a um, sick child with cancer. And <laughs> they were terrible. And it's only like five minutes from where our place is and my, where my son is too and you set up like bean bags or something like that out there you just you, you get eaten well not eaten they don't bite they don't bite they're just annoying they're annoying all right i think most of them are dry pretty dry enough that i'm not gonna stick out to here all right i have to figure out i have one more side left to do it's not that side it's not that side it's not there. All right. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Okay, so it either has to be here, here, here. Oh, gosh. Did I get all sides? I did one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did all sides. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Oh no, Jenny. Oh gosh, awful. All right, now's the time we tell whether or not this is going to go on here good. Let me just grab a little piece of parchment paper. I know it's gonna be loud, sorry. Okay, so again, I want to make sure that I've got this on the top and bottom. Oh, you know what? I was going to stamp on here yet. Um, just to add a little bit of black in here, I just want to get a little bit of black in here. So let's see, I just grabbed, um, a stamp set right here. It's called Cosette. Cosette. I love all the different, the Cosette is that paper that I was showing you too, that I could have used. We're just going to use maybe a few of these words. Um, yeah, we don't necessarily need these these flowers, but maybe this thankful is 
is sort of script and I'm going to put it on here straight it's cur it's curved on the paper like you can see on here let me just see you can see on there how it's curved I can straighten that out pretty good on here and it sticks on there so it's pretty straight putting it on there I'm just going to put that on here let me just I don't have anything under it but I'm uh, you know I hope it'll get a good stamp with it Let me stamp off once. Okay, I need a piece of paper here. I'm gonna stamp off once and then on, just so it's not so dark. Whoops. It's just adding that little bit of black in there. Is there something else I want to put on there? Maybe I might add just a little bit of flour on there. And you don't have to do this. I just wanted to add a little bit black into it. That would be good. Oh, I don't have my wipe here. Okay. We'll clean that off after. All right, I think maybe we'll just add just a little a little flower. And I'm, I don't need to put it on a big block because I only want this little bit on top. I don't need that much. Just a, just a little bit. All right. Just added black. Just some, you know, it's already sort of script on there. All right, I will clean them off when I'm all done. Okay. Put this aside, we will need this again, but we won't need the blocks anymore either. Hello, Norma. All right, let's put these on now. Let's see, let's see what we do. All right, we got a parchment paper. So I want one of these on the top and one of these on the bottom. It doesn't really matter which one. Uh-oh. Oh, it's hot. The light just went off. Should still be good. And like I said, I did not peel that other sticker off, so I hope, hope, hope we're not going to get some bubbling up. But as far as I'm thinking, you know when you do the saran wrap type of um of Mod Podge. To me this has got a little bit of that sticker on. I think that'll melt too. And it did. It it went on really, really good. Look at how good that went on. All right, so I need that on there. I need one on the bottom then too. You won't see the bottom unless you flip it that way. But um you want a finished thing. Okay. It's just going to be cute, easy decorating at the end, so this won't take much longer. All right, so we got the two there. Now we have to make sure they all stay upright. Um, okay, which side do I like better? I like this side better, so we'll leave that there. Wow, that's my favorite. Let's put that on here. Hello, Joyce. Yes, come say hi when you come on. Where you're from, I love seeing that. Cute. Okay, again, that's the. This is going to be the top. 
So I'm going to make sure that these letters, okay, so I either have to, I'm not, I don't have enough. I need one more. I'm going to add another black one on. I'm going to add another black one on. I don't know what I'm counting. Okay, I want the black. Let's do this one first. I for sure want this one here. Make sure that pink is covered up. Even if the pink doesn't completely cover, I think the stamp pad will cover it. Hello from England. Welcome. Hello from Arizona. Awesome. I'm from Wisconsin, if you haven't known that. It gets hot though it gets hot but look at how cute that is i you know honestly i feel like i should do the whole block like that i do feel like i should do the whole block like that but we're, seeing we got this already cut we're gonna put it on but i gotta cut one more and i think it's going to be the black and white one Hello, Lisa. Oh, I love that. I love it. Even with that. Okay, so now I have to decide. I do have to cut one more. We have to decide, I think, because I love Okay, so if I have the black and white there. <laughs> Honestly, you'll only see two sides at, at a time. So if I do the black and white, let's see what the black and white looks like against here. That would be cute too. Right, should we do the black and white? Or should we do this one? I'd be sold on either one. I'm good today, Lisa. How are you doing? I'd be sold on either one, black and white or words. And it'd be going right next to here. And you just see. It would be going on like that. The black and white. I love this. I love this. All right. First one I saw was black and white. We're going to do black and white. I hope somebody doesn't say something else otherwise right away. All right. Let's do one more. One more cut of these flowers. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen, Jenny. I knew it. Black and white. I got two black and whites. We're going to do that. All right. So it was two and a half. So just short of two and five eighths is what we wanted. And so honestly, I probably should just have a fourth color, but you're either going to see it on my mind. You're going to see it like this or like this, okay? If you want to see it like this, you could. That would be just as cute or, you know, it would be just as cute. So I'm okay with doing them right next to each other. You could have a whole nother paper if you wanted. And I pull in that other cassette one that I showed you, but I'm just not, I'm not sold on that one really going completely with these. You could use more extra flower. Oh, you could use more extra flowers. Okay. The flowers one would be pretty too, right? That would have been pretty. All 
All right, we got that done. Okay. Now before we decorate, we're going to, now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna age this up. It's gonna be easy with a black stamp pad. Um, you could do it with brown. I just decided because of the black in here, I wanted to use the black. So it, it's certainly, I'm just using a dauber and I'm using black ink, the black ink pad. Now it's gonna take a little bit, but you'll see Look at how cute that is. Look at how cute that is. I'm gonna do that on every side. That's why I wanted to pull in a little black into this one too. But you didn't need to stain. You didn't need to do what I was trying to do on those other blocks. I tried staining on here. And yeah, I'd stain this. And if you would have covered up that, that block, it would have been fine, but it just smeared on here because that's such a shiny look. And again, you can't get it off. I tried. Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate it. Oh, the burlap flowers. That would be cute too. I'm actually going to use some burlap on here or not burlap. I'm going to use some jute on here. And I really am sold with the sunflower, but I have another little flower and I have a button. I could put a button on this side. I might do it on the sunflower though. We'll see. We need one somewhere, right? Or maybe we'll put them on the opposite sides. One on each opposite side. Okay, just look at how cute and how that brings that out. And this dauber is wearing because I'm rubbing it on wood. It is wearing some of that off. So I have a second one here. I was afraid that I would run, that it wouldn't work that great, but it's working good. I just don't want it to tear completely on me. And then I would, I use the other one if it does. You hear the birds? I love that. I love it. That's a cardinal. So we didn't even need to stain. This took care of it. Just how pretty, 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 pretty. That's what the cardinal says is pretty, pretty, pretty. It's really starting to peel up. All right, let's see. We have this one yet. And I hear a morning dove out there. I think we got all the sides. Normally I reuse these daubers, but this one really wore. Pieces were coming off of it. But it, to reuse them, I just make sure I get all of that off as much as I can. Honestly, most of it is off now. There's not really any any more. And then you're able to use it again. But with the dark black and some of that coming off, I'm just getting rid of that one for now. Aren't they? Aren't they? Where's Cash? Cash is laying down. He was up here right at the very beginning. All right, so... love these i love them and that's why i really wanted to go with this way okay so we're going to put one of them on there but so i'm going to take this jute jute coming out of everything Right there. We could use jute or raffia. I just think the jute probably would be really cute. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it long enough so I can tie it. So let's see. I want it on the 
on the front here. Let's be easier to get it from the center of this jute. I'm just going to bring it around and then I'll probably do a little bow, but I'll do one of those finger bows that I've showed you how. I know I love listening to them too, Nancy. I almost want that knot. I should have shifted that. Let's see if I can shift it. I really want the knot, the flower. I was thinking I want the flower over here. Let's just see. Yeah, the finger bowls are so easy. Okay, I'll use one of these little ones. I think we're just a medium one. Well, they actually have a little leaf on too. I was thinking of doing it in a corner. Let's just open this and retie. Let me just look. You know, in the middle is sort of cute too. What do you think? In the middle is sort of cute, but you have to remember you're going to be seeing it on a, on like this. So that's where I was thinking if I put it down here in a corner, you can have it turn just a little bit. Let's just try putting it down. I could shift it down. I just couldn't tie it re or shift it around to tie it over here. You know, I'm thinking twice because I do want to do a little bow with the raffia or with the jute. Yeah, I'm changing my mind. <laughs> I am going to do the center. Right, let's just do that finger bow. Now that I think about it, should be going from the side. It's easier to do it when it's coming from the center. Find the end here. It just pulls out so much easier. Watch it not give me an end. <laughs> There's no end. And all right, fine. Okay, so let's do. We're just gonna do a little bow. So hold it between your two fingers. If you missed my video on this, it's up at pinned at the top of my page. Um, it's just like a one minute reel, and you see it from the top. All right, it's not the best quality, so it's a little bit dark, but you can see it. All right, so you hold it, wrap it around, and we're gonna do double. Yeah, it, it's it's out there for you to watch, and you can watch it a lot easier this way. Okay, pull it around and put it back down through this top. And what it does is create this bow without that big knot. That if you'd be tying a knot. You know, you don't, it, it creates it without that knot. Those will probably be cut off. Let's get this out of the way. It's going to be on like that. And then I'll trim this off. Okay. Can you hear that morning duck too? All right. I'm 
let's do it right here. thinking some of them would look cute hanging out but no I don't like that Okay, so this would be this would be don't whoop, we would be looking at it like this. Unless you like the two black together, that's really, really cute too. You could put one of these on each one of the blacks too. Um, okay, let's put one of these on this white side, I think. Just simple and easy, so simple and easy. Oh, this will be cute on here too. So we're going to do this in the center also. There's so many options you could do with this. depending what side you think you'd be looking from. Okay. I'm on a real dark button. block I was debating on putting it next to here the other option there we go you know what we're gonna put one right down right down on there let's just see if there was a decorative one like that about one on each each black corner oh that would be a cute idea okay so we got one in there I think we're gonna put one more something on that side although okay I love this I love it got that side you got this side so should I put a little something 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 on this side a little something something it has to be little though if i if i do it would be another little tiny one like this but it would have to be almost black or that taupe color. Oh, here's a little flower, that's cute. Um, okay, let me see what sides we're looking at. So we got one on every, something on every side. Dun, 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 Oh, my iron tipping there. Are you ready? Are you ready to see each side? Yeah, 
it's so easy, Gina. I said, this a Dollar Tree block, a Dollar Tree block. I didn't peel anything off, nothing. This is what we started with. Okay, and they're they're wood, but they're um, hollow, so they're lightweight. But look at so you got this side. I love this side. Tell me what side is your favorite. Tell me, tell me, tell me in the comments what side is your favorite. So we got this side. Well, we got this side. It's sort of plain. I feel like I should add something else on there. But you're not going to see most every side. You got that side. You got this side. You got that side, another plain side. And then we got the two green sides. Those I know aren't your favorite. But I mean, absolutely, I would do the whole block in this. Maybe I'm going to sit here yet when I'm done and do a whole block just in this. I love this. I love it. 